Hey, right, guess I better call this woman and see if it's all right. Oh, she say yes. Hello? Hey, babe. How you doing? What do you want, fool? Yeah, well, you know, I was just wondering if, uh, you know, I could roll out to Vegas with some of the fellas, you know, do it big out there, you know, go beast mode on it. No. All right, that's cool. Bye. I love you. Dang. How'd you do that? Whoa. He did it. Oh boy. Ooh. Cow. All you have to do is ask. Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? It's time for another tutorial from VideoEditingSoftwareGuy.com. Alright, we got another toot request on point for you. Your boy, JMBTV100, wanted to know, can you do a split screen effect for us, Malik? And I was like, you know I can do this, because I get these things done. So let's get into it. First and foremost, you need to take... Two takes, one of your talent doing whatever it is that they're interacting with the other person, doing like maybe talking on the telephone, beating up a gerbil, I don't know, whatever it is, have them do the first take. Then you want your other talent to do whatever action it is that's interacting with the first talent, like talking to them on the phone or beating up a gerbil or hamster or something else because it's beat up time and they just felt like beating up on poor little animals. Don't call Peter on me. Let's get it cracking. All right, so we got our first video clip down in the timeline, and you know, this is our first uh, person. It really doesn't matter which talent you put first or second. It really depends on what you want it to look like and how you want it to look in your final video. Then you want to take your second clip, grab that, left click on it, drag it down into the timeline beneath the first clip. Yeah, what you want to do is you want to sync up your audio. So you're going to have to, you know, drag this where you want, move your playhead to the beginning and, you know, hit play and go through all that jazz. I'm not going to do that right now because, you know, anybody can just move from side to side to their sound syncs up. You may need to do some splitting and adding in stuff if you didn't find that you were able to sync up your sound right. So now let's get this little split screen going. I'm going to left click on the clip on the bottom. And now we see it's here in the timeline. We see it in our preview window as well. I'm just going to left click on this and drag it to the left. And voila, split screen. All right, it's that simple, that easy. But, you know, me, I like to have a little flair. You know, I want to add some pieces of flair to my video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to left click on this, make sure it's active. I'm going to click on Modify. I'm going to go ahead and click on Apply Border. Or if you're not, Border isn't activated, you got to click Border first. And then you can click on Apply Border. And I'm going to make mine 5. So now I got a nice little white line. The separation between the two video clips looks good. Now at this point, you can click Save. You can add fades to the beginning and end of the second person. But you know me. I like flair. So I'm going to add some more flair to this. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on motion. I'm going to scroll down so that I make sure I can see the motion keyframes on here. And I'm going to select the one where it slides in from the left because she's on the left. If your other person was on the right, you would want to click this one where they slide it on the right. So I'm going to select this one here. And now I need to go ahead and make some things happen. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place my cursor here until this little thing turns white. I'm going to grab it and since I'm on the first keyframe already, I'm going to slide this over and off the screen. So what that means is it's going to start off the screen. Now I have these other keyframes in here. Don't like them too much. I click on this one, you see that it's right here. It's not where I want it to be. I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to remove keyframe. I'm going to click on this next keyframe. That's almost where I want it, but not quite. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my cursor over this little white dot until it kind of turns into two lines. And I'm going to drag this 
to where I think the middle of the screen is at, which is about right there. So that's that means this is where it's going to stop at now. On this on this keyframe at least. So I'm going to drag, I'm going to left click this keyframe and I'm going to drag it over here because I want her to stay on the screen when she's talking. So now if I play this and move, I play her forward right on this keyframe, she'll be in the middle, which is good. But she's going to keep going because I got this frame over here taken off the screen. So I want her to stay at this point. So I'm going to go right about here and I'm going to add a keyframe for motion by clicking on this here. I'm going to right click this and I'm going to click duplicate previous frame. What that's going to do is it's going to make it duplicate this frame. So now she stays in the middle the whole time. So she slides on, stays in the middle. Problem is she's going to slide more to the right. I don't want that. Eh. So I need to fix that. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to scroll over so I can see the end of this, this last keyframe. And I'm going to put my cursor over this until it turns black. Make sure you're on the last keyframe. When I do that, I'm going to drag this back the other way so she comes off the screen again. Now my last little blue keyframe should be back where the beginning, where it started. So now you'll see her come back on the screen, stay on and come off. So when you play this now, comes on the screen, coming kind of slow. You can always drag this keyframe and move it over if you need to. Stays on the screen the whole time. I'm going to just move up to this point. And then she's going to slide off the screen. Right? Now, what you can do if you want to speed up the or slow down the timing for the sliding on and off the screen, you just click on the keyframe and bring it closer. All right. Simple. Now, if I hit stop and I hit play, now she'll come on the screen fast. There it is. I'm going to stop this. Now, you just hit the save button. And you're good to go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, split screen, Cyberlink Power Director 11 Ultimate. All right, people, you know the routine. You know what you got to do. You better do it or else I'm going to come get you. I'm going to find you and make you click the thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. Click it, like it, live it, love it, hug it. Comments. Leave me your comments, all right? Tell me how you would have did this video if you would have done it differently. Tell me what you're going to use this uh, little split screen effect for. If you need help with something, leave me your comments. If I can't help you, I'll point you in the right direction to get you the help you need. Also, if you got a tube request, leave it, okay? I'm not trying to do all kind of personal tutorials for things that only you want to see, though, okay? Make it something that a lot of people want to do. Make it something a lot of people are looking to do, and I'll see if I can get it done for you. And last, but definitely not least, don't you ever forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.